Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to share Gen Z experience, some more Gen Z experiences from different branches. So many students have shared their experience, literally so many students. And I'm here to share it, with, share it with you. So it may be helpful for some of the students who have not yet appeared for the interview. And I, also I'm going to answer few questions that has been asked by the student frequently asked question and some of the questions I'll be covering at the end of the video I means some Q&A kind of session I'll be taking it at the end of this video so uh, let's get started starting with MCA student this person is from MCA and his interview started like this I prepared only for Java and also mentioned Java as my skill and he asked me what is Java why is Java preferred mostly like what is inheritance with an example is inheritance supported in java is poly polymorphism supported in java until here i answered well i prepare uh, i prepared for java by watching your videos on java interview questions video but after that some of them i didn't prepare only from here like difference between uh, method overloading and constructor overriding why pointer not used in Java, define pointer, differentiate between private and global, global. Next questions are, he asked me about, do you know DBMS? I said, I am not uh, so good in it. I saw your videos on DBMS, but the mistake was I did not revise it. That's why I said, I am not sure. So he started asking me asking me software testing questions from an mca okay we can expect that uh sdlc life cycle i couldn't answer differentiate between white box and black box type of testing and one puzzle question he asked why did you choose cognizant if you are given a new coding language which you have not worked or learned before how will you work on it these were the questions ma'am and my doubt is why did he asked software testing so let me clear this doubt he asked you or he may ask this question to all many gen c student reason being a uh, reason behind like gen c profile is mostly they are going to hire mostly tester support infra support these kind of profile they are going to fulfill it with gen c candidate because they are they have already filtered out gen c next and gen c elevate and those candidate are going for mostly most of those candidate are going for development profile but if there is an any vacancy in development profile then you may get into that but gen c profile overall it's uh, i would say mostly just prepare your mind that you are going to get either testing or support or infra support or anything like that but there is a high probability which i think uh, is for it's it's there is a high probability you won't get development high probability but still it really depends on luck where in service based you may get it but this is what i have seen uh, in this time uh, how the cognizant has hired candidate now let's move on to the another mca student my interview was completed on 22nd uh, on campus after the interview start they asked me to show pan card tell me about yourself why bcom to mca he might have done bcom then switch to mca tell me about your project i explained write a code in python reverse a string i did means he did it role of your project swapping two number without using the third variable these are quite very much famous question programming questions which has been asked to so many stu uh, students okay he forgot the logic mm -hmm. guys i have told these questions so many times in so many of my video that these programming questions are very 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 important please watch out and check out all my exp all the experiences i have shared with you guys uh, related to cognizant experience please check it out 
how much you rate yourself in python i said 70 percent and i mentioned my secondary skills like html css js he asked me you know well or basic i said intermediate level actually i have some uh, stammering problem he asked me why are you taking any speech therapy or not means are you taking any speech therapy or not i said yes i am taking i have speech problem ma'am i can expect job at cognizant or not um uh, last year also uh, one student has this problem he has shared his uh, a problem with me that ma'am i too have a you know stammering problem then will i be getting selected or not but he got selected so this is not a barrier i guess um for you in to get into any company are you getting a point so this is not a barrier anyways uh, it really i i can't say that because it really depends on interviewer sometime you know his mood how he is uh, you know thinking about your performance or how you are communicating with the interviewer it really depends on that as well now let's move on to the next interview that is from biotechnology student on september 4th had online assessment then the interview let's move on to the interview on 24th september tell me about yourself about my internship rate yourself in python on scale one to five what is biotechnology what is rna what is dna what is recom uh, okay recombinant dna fibonacci program which i was easily able to get output in python which is faster list or tuple Two aptitude question, ratio and proportion, blood relation. Any queries, your video helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Now let's move to the next experience. So these are the list of now experience I'm going to share from CSE background. 